So first thing, Troy comes in, takes his high front shot. Okay, we're gonna assume, and I want my partner to be in good position here, lacing the leg and all that. Okay, my first step is I gotta get that leg that he's attacking back. Okay, so my hips are gonna come back, and I'm also gonna angle my body back into him more. If I just sprawl without any angle, all he has to do is drive his head across, cut the corner up. So I have to square up my hips on him as I sprawl. He's in, sprawl my leg back, square my hips up. That's my basic high cross sprawl. Okay, now I'm gonna be shoving his head down, get him to the mat. Notice I'm feeding him my hips the whole time. My hips are not coming up. They come up, he's got room to reshoot on me, get back into the position. Okay? So my hips are down, head is down. My outside hand is going to grab near ankle, but preferably far ankle. If I can reach this ankle and trap it in, now he has no trailing to step up with. Step up. And that's taken away a lot of his power. Okay? If I set near ankle, he can still step up, and it's going to turn into a little bit of a battle. But this is better than nothing. But preferably, I'm sprawling, feeding my hips, hooking far ankle. Now I'm just going to continue to feed my hips as I cross face and circle. Notice my hips stay down. As I do that, he shoots, all my hips down, feet on my hips. Right hand's pushing, head down, or cross facing, and I'm looking for a far ankle. Okay, now I'm going to continue feeding my hips. As I start here, Troy just hits a fast shot, boom. I can't even, I, right now I can't even get my head down if I wanted to. Troy's got me off. Okay, so I've got to know when my sprawl has been, you know, the gate in here, and it, it has been. So when I feel that, I've got to change my attack. Now I'm going to worry about just preventing the double leg. So I'm going to hunker down. My outside hand, the hand that's along his head, is going to tighten it. Okay? The opposite hand is going to hook and block his elbow. So I'm hunkering down. Once I feel like I can't sprawl, okay, and it's not going to be effective, hunker down, tight waist, block. Now I'm just going to have Troy keep trying to finish on me. I'm just going to show you what this looks like as I continually adjust it. Not letting this elbow switch to a double. Troy can keep trying. He's going to drive his head across in the same position. Ready? Press. And you can see, he can't switch that double. I have it locked. And now he's going to be opening the school. Now there's two choices there. Okay, he's locking me out. I hunger down. When I start feeling him trying to transition, go ahead. He's now let go of my leg. His lock is gone. My scroll is there. Okay, so I'm going to. Stall him out, he shoots it. I'm gonna pump it down. He's trying to double leg, trying to finish, driving his head across. When he releases that arm, the stall is there. Locking. <coughs> okay, now Troy should be driving his head across first, right? I'm blocking, I'm blocking. I feel him start reaching for that double. I blocked it. Now I'm gonna let it slip through slightly. And as he starts reaching for that double, I'm gonna shoot over. Okay, so I'm here, he's trying to finish the double, he's driving, it transitions, I let it through, okay, I can even step back as he reaches for the double, step back, fire my cobra through, always attack in the back pocket, taking his pocket, okay, now I can transition my hips in, tight, elevating the head to the chest, your ribs, let's see again, so he's locked me in with a good high crotch, Hunker down, locking his uh, double leg in. He's driving across. I block, step back, hook in, step through. Now scroll back. Tight, tight, tight. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, I'm going to drop my hips and my knee under. There's a couple ways you can hook. If it's freestyle, I might just hook the outside of the ankle as I drop. If it's folk style, I might actually lace inside. Okay, so I'll show the freestyle version. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna drop down that kind of that weight. I'm gonna tuck everything in, I'm gonna lift the ankle to the butt, and I'm gonna bridge it through. I'm gonna freestyle through, drop my knee under, lacing through the leg, bridging off my feet hard, bridging the Then Notice I snake through the legs. The reason I'm doing this is now, even if you kept my leg and he starts trying to belly back into me to finish, his legs are split. He can't get back to the, his knees and finish his take. He's on my leg, cross face, elevate, 
He starts feeling like he's getting my back points. He's gonna roll through. I switch to bicep curl. Knee behind the back. Use your post to help you lean up. And as he reaches through, I'm gonna claw under the neck. I give a lot of press. Keep turning in between. I'm gonna keep the shoulder pressure down. Down, down, drive under the mat, chest to chest. I'm gonna drop. Place through. Bridge. Okay, so hold on the leg. I'm just having cross legs. Shoulder drive through. Leg lace. Back in. Okay, let's see, he's on my right leg. My right hand's tight placing. Normally, as soon as I feel that crackdown come, I'm switching. Left hand tight waist, right hand post to keep you from coming down the mat. So I'm here, right, just driving in, I'm fighting up. As soon as I start feeling that crackdown come, I switch tight waist, and I post. And I'm not gonna let him put me in my butt. I'm gonna post my hand and keep my left hand tight waist. So let's see what that looks like. Some choice here. Okay, he goes to crack me down, right hand tight waisting. As soon as I feel it, I have to let go of the tight waisting pose. So I go ahead, and as I'm making that transition, my other hand's going to replace it. So he starts cracking me down. I'm not going to go. Okay, I'm going to stay up here. You can see he's already kind of fighting over the hip, but I'm staying strong. Right. I'm going to keep my hand posted. I'm not sure if I'm Troy first. I'm going to keep my hand posted. I'm going to be wrenching my tight waist up. And my legs are going to be going over this way from this crack down. And I'm just going to keep them circling like that. Keep my tight waist. I'm going to just do this. I did it on my knees. Crack it down. Drop to his knees to crack it down. Right. Now I'm going to walk. Lock his hand in if you can. Now Troy's in some trouble. Reverse half. Chest to chest. Fight out Troy. Okay. Free your hand over. Finish your reverse half. Okay. And then my position, he starts cracking me down, drops both knees to do it. Tight waist post. Walk your legs around, lifting his arm and shoulder over his own head. Once he's trapped here, chest to chest. Reverse half. That movement's not easy. It takes a little bit of drilling, but it's very, very effective. It's a lot of torque. 